Hey guys, it's Andy, and in this video... Now hold up. Let's talk a second. I have not uploaded on this channel in such a long time, and I just want to say that I am so sorry. I just haven't really been able to think of any videos, like it's kind of like whenever you're like writer's block if you're like trying to write a song. I just haven't really been able to think of anything. But until today, because today I'm going to be showing you guys all of these paintings that I painted on canvases. And I hope you guys really enjoy this because I love painting. I'm going to start from my first painting to my last painting. And yeah, just to show you guys like how much I've progressed in my painting on canvases. And before we get on this video, make sure you guys always have gotten another call. See you, subscribe, like, and comment down below any of your video suggestions. And make sure you click the bell too. Um... And yeah, without further ado, I don't know what I'm doing with my fingers, but let's get on to the video. Starting with this one, this is my first painting that I've done on the canvas, and it is an owl, because, you know, owls are cool, and owls are super pretty. So it's basically, you know, perfect for me. But this was a grid canvas, if you can't tell, because there's like these little lines on it that I tried my best to cover up, but it still looks really good. Um, for it being my first painting though, it's not that bad, but you can definitely tell things get so much better on my paintings, like, in my newer ones. But yeah, I really like this painting, let's get on to the next one. So, with this one, second painting, and I love it, let's just take a moment to appreciate these eyes. Like, bruh. Like, these eyes look amazing, and I love the background, I love the little belly, how it's like ombre, like very slightly, and it's like, you know, the sky behind it, um, I do like the tree, it's not like my favorite tree that I've done, but yeah, you can definitely see some mistakes in the wings, but I still really like it, and again, the eyes are like my favorite, I love them, and yeah, not really much else to say about this painting, except for I love it, let's get on to the next one. So this next one um, is huge. I actually had to extend my camera angle so you guys could see the whole thing. It is, um, obviously an owl, and it's like, I love how it's realistic, but it's not, like, too realistic, that it was, like, hard, and this is an 8x10 canvas, and I just, I just, I love this painting so much, and I love doing eyes, that's, like, one of my favorite things to do, and I think that's definitely one thing that I'm really good at, but yeah, I love this painting very much, very realistic, super cute. Let's go on to the next one. So, story time. This painting I thought I was gonna hate because whenever I was doing the background, it it just didn't really look like it was gonna come together until I added the black, like you know, outline of the tree. Also added the owl as my little personal touch. But if you can't tell, it's a tree holding a moon, and I just love these kind of looks of paintings where it's like you know, background everything like black. I have a lot of these because it's really cool. And yeah, it's a cherry blossom tree. Um, I feel like I get off subject, but yeah, it's a cherry blossom tree holding a moon with an owl on it. Really cute. On to the next one. This next one is obviously a black cat. Um, again, the eye. I love it, and it's huge. It's about the size of my hand. But yeah, I, I just love doing eyes. They're so much fun, and my favorite thing about this painting is obviously the eye because it just takes up like the whole canvas. And I feel like everything looks pretty, like, good. I feel like you can definitely tell what it is, obviously. But yeah, I really like this painting. On to the next one. So this other one is, again, owls on trees. What's new? Um, this is like a mom owl, and it's baby, and, like, I don't really- What am I doing with my hands? Okay. But, I really like the tree- and I really like the, or not the tree, I really like the leaves. I'm not a big fan of the tree until I added the flowers on it. But you can see that there was some mistakes like on the canvas itself. But I love the background. I love how it just like really makes the whole thing pop. And if you can't tell, they're in the rain, you know, getting covered by the trees. Um, I feel like you gotta tell a story about the canvas. And yeah, I like the background because it makes it pop. That's what I was doing with my hands. This next one is completely off subject from all those other ones, like completely different. But if you can't tell, this is the Aurora Boyat Boy Bubba Borealis. Um, and like, I didn't 
really think I was going to like this painting just because the Royal Borealis part, like the little blue part that I was pointing at like 10 seconds ago, um, just didn't really look right, but I really didn't like this painting too because of the trees, but then I was like, you know, in the woods, there's not all the same trees, all of them look weird, all of them are different kinds, and there's also a fingerprint on it because the black paint really shows a lot of stuff. Um, but yeah, this next one is, again, completely off subject from the other ones, but this is a lighthouse, and I just love the sunset, and I love, you know, like, the way it looks, you can definitely tell what it is, and that's one thing I like in a painting, and again, the black paint, it, it doesn't really, co I mean, it does cover, it's just, like, sometimes you'll, like, see fingerprints, like, on the last one, or you'll see kind of, like, you know, parts showing from it. And one thing I don't like about this guy is how symmetrical the different square colors are. I'm not very good at blending colors sometimes, but yeah, I really like this painting. You know, it's definitely a really cool, really nice painting. On to the next one. This one next is um, basically, this was my own thing. All those other ones I watched tutorials on, this one I did not. This one I did completely on my own. But it basically is like, you know, my name... In bubble letters because I really like bubble letters and it has everything that I like owls, pizza, emojis, tacos, slime, cats, god, of course, and a little flower. Um, but yeah, I really like this painting how it shows you know who I who I who's I am. <laughs> I can't talk, but on the next one, this one I really like. It is a cupcake. Now, before you guys freak out, I did not draw this, this was one that I actually had to get a traceable on. Because there's, there was no way I would be able to draw this. My drawing skills are not very good. But, you can't tell. It is a, I was about to say pineapple. This is not a pineapple. This is a cupcake. With three cherries. And I love the cherries. Like, they look so realistic. That like makes the whole painting. And I love the background. How it's like really simple. And there's like a giant cupcake. But yeah. I love this painting. And then, this one... I also really like because again it's one of those realistic ones that didn't take too much of my time. I love the background because I love blue. Blue is my favorite. And I, if you can't tell, it is a, um, you know, uh, dandelion. But tell me, does this turn into the flower or does the flower turn into this? Like that, I don't know. But let me know in the comments below if you know that. Um, but yeah. I love all these little detailed things in here, the little things falling off, but yeah, this has to be one of my favorite paintings because it just looks so realistic, and yeah, I just, I really like it, and I don't know what I'm doing with my hands, but that's what I get for doing a voiceover, but anyways, on to the next one. This next one is a donut. Um, I love donuts, and... It's like, the donut is huge, like it's literally the size of my hand. And there's like sprinkles everywhere, little crumbs. Now, the background is not my favorite because it, I feel like it takes away from the donut. But I kind of had to because right where the bite was, I messed up and I forgot to put the bite. <laughs> and I tried to put the background color back onto it to fix it and it didn't work obviously. And then I just had to do it all over the canvas the same way I did it on the little spot over there. And also, like, the donut is amazing. I love all the sprinkles. Try to make it look exactly like the picture. But I feel like the shading and everything is, like, perfect. This next painting is um, a rainbow tree, if you can't tell. And it's, like, being blown by the wind and the rain. And, yeah, I, again, love these, like, black paintings. Like, where, you know, it's, like, colored background on, like, a black thing. It's, like, really cool. And I didn't think I was going to do really good on the rain part, but it looks amazing. You can, again, you can really get the, like, you can tell what it is. And one thing I like about the street is it's rainbow because, you know, God's promise. And there's also this weird little branch that I'm probably going to cover up because it looks weird. But other than that, I love this painting. I love that it's like, you know, God's promise to the world that you will not flood again. That has a really cool message. And that was it for those paintings. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, hit the bell. Yeah, make sure you guys always a god know that God loves you. Subscribe, like, and comment down below any of your video suggestions. I was kind of late on that, but 
Sorry, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye.